What is up, robot lovers and Transformers fans? This is Drew. Uh, I'm here today with a little review for you. Um, you probably saw the black version of this guy not too long ago via Ray, Mr. I Love Mass. Um, that did, that video did remind me that this guy existed and that I had wanted one. Uh, the reasons, you know, I, I'd seen it on a couple of sites, but I never really. You know, I thought, man, I need to have that because I like owls. I'm pretty much an owl fan, and I'm a prowl fan too, so that's cool. Um, so this is the uh, the robot mode. He's, um, you know, got lots of chrome. He's a transmetal two prowl. Now there's another way that this can be transformed. It's something with the the wings. Something where the wings are downward. Apparently, they're supposed to be, like, the instructions say, to do it, like, something like this. I don't know. I didn't get any instructions. Mine was loose, but I saw it on somebody, like, on the wiki or something, that you're supposed to, like, fold these up to the... But the box art, which I also looked up, just simply shows them being over his shoulders, like I had them a second ago, and now I can't seem to get them back there. <laughs> Uh, give me a second. I don't. I hadn't touched this guy a lot. I, I, I bought him, and I thought about reviewing him right away. And you know, things changed. Uh, something else. I got something else, and it wasn't. It got knocked back down on the priorities list. And to be honest, I wanted to put a little space between Ray's review and my review because if you know Ray, you know how crazy he is, and how good his reviews are. Just because he's a little bit of a nutter. But there's, there's Prowl's face with his uneven eye. He's really kind of more decepticon -y looking, or should I say predicon -y looking, but he still looks really cool. And this light piping is insane. Let me see if I turn the light on. No, the light pipe, turning the light on actually decreases the light piping. But you can see a little in this lighting even that they're pretty bright looking and that is because of the light piping so um we'll just put this guy into robot mode and we'll talk about him a little bit while i do it uh prowl was this prowl his bio says that he believes he was had the same function as he does now in another life. And the function that he has now is being a brilliant strategist, uh, which puts people in the mindset that this guy is pretty sure that he is the OG Prowl. You know, he that's, that's what he's into. That's what he does. He's uh, just like the original Prowl was. This guy is to the Beast Wars crew. Now, Beast Wars also states that the Lion Prowl that's in Magnavoss is also the original Prowl. Now they state, I think the way I read it was they state that that guy's definitely Prowl, the original Prowl. So if that guy's definitely the original Prowl, and this guy believes he was also a strategist in a former life, then I have to say that this guy is a little more likely to be Prowl 2. Now, Prowl 2 uh, comes up in a couple of different minor cannons that come with like weird Japanese toys and such. And Prowl 2 was the Prowl that happened after Prowl was killed in the movie, to be specific. Uh, in the Vinyl Tech story, Prowl 2 is um, Chip Chase's life force in a body with Prowl's memories. Which is really kind of weird if you think about it, but you know whatever. Uh, the use, the first use of the designation Prowl Two was with the RID line, when Prowl the cop car and Prowl the spy changer were definitely cited as being two different people. Oh, I forgot the head thing. Anyway, that's enough of that. Just a brief little history to set you in mind of who this guy is. He might be the cop car from G1, or he might be the Vinyl Tech Prowl, or he might be. None of those, because, well, you know, he, just because someone thinks they were something in another life doesn't mean that they were. 
But there's his head with his cybernetic eye. And inside there, there's some stuff that looks like brain matter. Now, I just turned that around and I forgot to show. That's got a, a maximal emblem in it. Now, I'd asked Lee, damn you hussy, a while back to help me find a beast that I would like. I already had this guy. I knew I was into this guy because I like owls and I like prowl. So this doesn't negate the fact that I still want a beast that I like simply on the merit of him being a beast. And I may have found that because I, I think I want a man terror. But this is the coolest thing ever. He's got a little nodule on the back that lets you spin his head around. And it's just epic. I mean, who doesn't want an owl? I wish I'd get him to... There we go. Let's get him to stop at the front. I mean, who doesn't want to push a button and spin an owl's head around? I mean, really. I, I know I do. I get up every morning thinking I'd love to push a button and spin an owl's head around. You can display him like this with his wings out. He also does a pretty good job of folding them up and looking like he's going to sit on a tree with them like that. He looks really good on my prowl shelf. I'm really glad I found him. And I want to thank Ray. I love Mass for reminding me that this guy exists and doing the review on the black version. Uh, the black version, I may or may not get it. It depends on how much I think it looks like Blue Streak or Smokescreen. Because people say he's a Smokescreen, but Smokescreen wasn't black either. <laughs> Spinning owl head. This is awesome. But, um, uh, I, uh, yeah, so I'm going to expand my Beast Wars slowly and carefully and pickily. Pickily. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, it's about time to move my pizza from one shelf to the other. So I'm going to leave you with this little pose for Beast Wars Transmetal 2 Prowl. And say, um, who wants to know? Who, 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 who wants to know? Okay. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Sorry for the bad attempt at a joke there. And...